All right, Eaton Van. Good luck to you tonight. It's kind of noisy up here, so hopefully you'll be able to hear what's going on. Van looks good. Make sure you're keeping still. Unless you've been instructed differently. Get all the itching, whatever you got to do right before you get started here. Soloist, good. Front ensemble. Still a little bit hot on the highs and the mallets and the miking. Yeah, very nice point guard integration again. Make sure you move together and in step, bass drum. Okay, close up, close up, left shoulder. We're rocking our bodies left to right, keep that upper body still. You can actually be out of step when you march, just keep that upper body still. Good, okay, you gotta be in lines over here on side A. Okay, not bad right there, a little bit more on the front. Good, you gotta line up, drop it. Oh, you gotta be all in lines right here. You've gotta be very clear on that. It's a, yes, I get it, it's a complicated move, but you've got to be in lines. Good, bum, 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 more. Good saxophone solos, good. Get the horns up at the same time, trumpets, if you're doing an ensemble hit. Good, very good. Yeah, again, the mouse is a little bit hot right here, too. Watch your uh, bells and put the little grass over here. They're not quite in the right position, they're too high. You're not going to make it to the judge, you're going to be over their head. Right there, too. Uh, upper body and the flute. Uh, it's impossible on flute to pull the left shoulder back, I get it. But you got to make that flute look parallel. over here too. Step out, late step outs and saxophones. Make sure you recover that too. Also have an upper body flat to the side line. Upper body is flat to the sideline. Again, it still seems like we're getting to our sets too early. People are looking around, not sure. You got to look up now. Okay, yeah, again, we get there too soon and hover over the set points on that side. And the horns are up in different locations over here. Good expansion. That's going to look really good right here. I'm not sure what's going on over here compared to here. It looks like it's supposed to fan out equally. But again, people are taking wrong step sizes. It's causing that issue right here. Good. Windows are a little bit better this week. Up. Alignment. Alignment. Got to be aligned. Good. Up. Careful. Yeah. You know, that, if you play down in the field, it's got to be tight. It's got to be tighter and not the the back of the Side, side B, uh, side A looks okay. Uh, this uh, line on the space looks pretty good right over here too. Front to back means your interval, okay? The person in front of you. I still think there needs to be some type of character as you do this, not just walking. I think you need to have a tall upper body. Okay, again, this form still needs to be addressed right over here. The crescent of the moon, yeah, right here. That's gotta be addressed. You may need to blow it out for more clarity, especially in the back right here. That looks like it's a straight diagonal, and I think it's supposed to be a curve. Good color guard integration right here, good. Taller and back, a trombone spacing right over here on side B. Careful, don't get to that set point too soon. Okay, spacing side to side over here on side A. Front to back intervals right here on side B. Careful, not, you're not leaning into the step out, especially when you're going backwards. Keep still. Oh, keep the shoulders flat right over here. Bass clarinets right here. Yep, we've got spacing right over here on the flutes that need to be addressed. Address your set point and get used to the slashes in front and line up with that too. In that form right there, it's okay alignment-wise front to back to be off, but side to side, you've got to make sure you line up with the slash over here. Again, pretty color guard, so this is going to be an awe moment in the performance. Really good. Flat shoulders to the front, if that's what you're doing. Yeah, we're getting to our sets too soon. And then we take really small steps. 
we're still doing that. Okay, you gotta take equal size steps. If anything, those last steps need to be bigger. Okay, so make sure you're dressed up. Okay, I like this. Make sure you're doing pointed toes as you go across over here. I think that would be uniform if you do that. Okay, again, flat shoulders over here on the side A. I like the expansion drill, this is great. Good. Yeah, and the horns down. How are we going to do that over there in the trumpets? Again, these are the details you need to start addressing now. That way, at contest, you can get that better score. The bands that are addressing it right now, and when they go to your first contest, are addressing it uh, a lot quicker. So you need to start doing that now. It's a critical week coming up. So, start. Okay, we got people walking now. Okay, again, elevate. Do not bounce with your backwards marching. Still some fundamental issues as far as forward marching, backwards marching with our upper body bouncing up and down. Make sure it's safe time. Good trumpets. That sounds really good. Again, toes up, toes up to help your posture and balance. Good. This makes the group look really big. Okay, I see diagonals over here. Clarity over here. Are we supposed to see diagonals? get it. This is supposed to be like lines and I see diagonals and things like that too. Okay, good performance. The main thing I'm seeing, again, is um, uh, step outs. Okay, it's like people are leaning into the step out where it's going forwards or where it's going backwards. The other thing that I see is uh, people arriving to, you know, they're taking big steps right at the beginning of their first, you know, like a uh, 16 count move, like the first eight counts are really big and all of a sudden it's, it gets squishy and smaller and smaller and you kind of hover over the set point. And that's two weeks in a row, but I get it, I understand. So younger marchers, what do you need to do to look like an older marcher like they do? Again, I'm very serious about this. You can be out of step almost the entire show, but if your upper body looks really solid and stout, we're going to forget about your feet, okay, as a judge. So you got to make sure you square those shoulders. Boots, I mentioned earlier about that left shoulder because, the, you know, your flute thing and stuff like that, too. What we care about as a judge is the flute alignment straight, okay? It's got to be straight right there, too. Uh, the last form, again, I think on side A needs to be addressed. Side B looks pretty good, okay? Now's the time you're going to start marching your drill outside without looking at the spot on the ground. you got to start looking for the slash forward. you got to have a sensory of side to side to help you with that, too. too. Uh, the playing was really good. There's a couple of... Trumpet. I'm a trumpet player, believe me, and I admire the fact of your range and stuff. You guys have great range. You know, I'm very serious about that too. But you got to remember, those cutoffs have to be clean. Jazz is the cleanest uh, genre of music you can imagine. It, you have to be cleaner in jazz, okay, than you do concert band, believe it or not. And it's got to be tight. And it's scary to put jazz on the marching field. That's why not many bands do it. But you guys can be the surprise of all the contests going. People will go, that was the most entertaining group today, and they sold everything about that show, okay? Uh, the Crescent Moon, okay? Hence, Moonlight Sonata. That crescent has to be addressed, and it has to be in line. So again, leaders, make sure you're hollering at your group. Shoulders, toes up. Uh, elevate. Make sure you're not uh, bouncing left or right, things like that too, okay? And make sure that you understand, keep that upper body the still. So you have that uh, really good performance. Jolie Individual. Minaj. Individually, I thought it was a lot better this week than it was last week. So again, nice Elson. job on that. It's improving. That's a marked improvement from last week. So I can tell you a Stop looking down at the ground. Start looking for the flash in front, and you're going to be successful. All right.